You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I love you. I love you, sweet boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am doing an updated Q&A. I have not done one of these, or even thought about doing one of these in a really long time. Uh, pretty much the last Q&A I did, I think was when Will and I got engaged back in March. And since then, I have gained quite a few new subscribers. So I asked you guys on Snapchat and on Instagram to send me any questions that you have. I have quite a few to go through, so we are going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first question is from Jess Simpson, and she says, If you were on a deserted beach with five beauty products, which ones would you not want to be without? Uh, definitely SPF. And I, I feel like I've answered this question in a Q&A before. I feel like somebody's asked me this. Uh, but honestly, if I were deserted on an island, I would pretty much just want SPF and chapstick. Chapstick with SPF. I would be concerned about wearing makeup because A, I probably wouldn't have a mirror to even look at myself. B, who am I going to impress? Fish? You know, monkeys? Like, who is going to be on this island with me? There will be nobody that... I can show my artistry to anyway, so I feel like I would be good with just straight up SPF, SPF 50, 75. I've heard that over 50 it doesn't count, so SPF 50 and uh, chapstick, oh, moisturizer, let's add that while we're going to it. I don't think I would bring like any makeup at all. Moisturizer for sure uh, because you guys know the skin is a desert 24-7, does not matter what climate I am in. And maybe some type of uh, like eye cream for you know all the sun, all the sun damage that's going to be happening to my face. And I don't know how many products is that for. Uh, let's see, we've got chapstick, sunscreen, moisturizer, eye cream, and maybe just a face wash. I just picked out all skincare, but that's that's how it's going to go. Winnie asks, what is your favorite drugstore foundation? Uh, the best drugstore foundation I've tried in the past couple years, I feel like is definitely the Rimmel Lasting Finish, which I just talked about in a recent video. I've had it for a few months now, and it's very comparable to my Lancome Tint A Dual Foundation, which is a medium to full coverage foundation. Uh, and the Rimmel Foundation is only $4.50 at my local Walmart. And it's just one of the best that I've tried as far as coverage goes and longevity. And as far as just the overall look, it's not cakey, it doesn't enhance pores. It's a really nice foundation for the price, so I would definitely have to go with that one. Naomi asks, do you and Will want to have children in the future? Yes, but very far in the future. I do not care to be an old mom. I mean, seriously, I cannot imagine having kids under the age of 30. Like, 30 is good for me. Uh, so very far in the future and <laughs> not a lot of children. I was an only child, uh, so it's really hard for me to like fathom what brothers and sisters go through. Will only has one older brother. They're a year apart. Uh, so neither of us grew up with a ton of siblings. I mean, I had no siblings. My dogs were my siblings. So, uh, yeah, it, it's definitely going to be way further in the future and uh, I don't think they asked how many but I think two is like max. I don't see how people do it over two. I don't see how people do it with one. Someone asked, I remember how much you like the original Bare Minerals oil cleanser. Do you have any one, new ones you tried recently that you would recommend? I have been using the updated version of the Bare Minerals oil cleanser. So uh, I used to use the Mineral Elixir oil, which I really love and I still actually have. I have a travel bottle of it. Uh, and I have replaced it with Oil Obsessed, which is the new cl oil cleanser that Bare Minerals released with the new skincare line. So that's what I would suggest. I love it. I think it's just as good. 
Uh, the only difference, in my opinion, is it's a little bit thinner in consistency and it smells a little different. This has got to be my favorite question, I think, that I have seen so far, and it is from Riley Deanna, who is a great subscriber of mine. Uh, we snap back and forth all the time, and I always see I always see your comments, so hi, Riley. Uh, she says, which Harry Potter house are you? I'm Ravenclaw over here. So she says she's Ravenclaw. Uh, I, for the longest time, thought I was Ravenclaw. I just wanted to be in Ravenclaw because I like the blue and the black, and I also just thought Ravenclaw had the coolest name, uh, but if we're going based off of characteristics of the houses, I'm definitely not Ravenclaw. I'm definitely Gryffindor if we go based off of the characteristics. Uh, but I feel like, you know, Gryffindor, everyone wants to be in Gryffindor because Harry, you know, Hermione, Ron, they were in Gryffindor. Uh, and if you ask Will, I'm a Hufflepuff. Will just always says, I'm a Hufflepuff. We actually had a Harry Potter party last year with a few of his friends and they did sorting, sorting hat cupcakes where the cupcakes had a colored M&M in the middle and whatever color you got distinguished your house. And I ended up getting Hufflepuff, of course, and so Will just says that I am just deemed to be a Hufflepuff, but until I am legit sorted into Hufflepuff by the sorting house, I'm going to have to go with Gryffindor. If you're not a Harry Potter fan and that made no sense to you, I'm sorry. Ashley Pierce asks, what is your favorite TV show? Hands down, The Office. I think The Office is one of the best TV series that was ever created. I love the humor that comes with The Office. I love all of the characters on The Office. And I just feel like there's so many relatable scenarios in that show. And I just die. I die laughing at J Dwight is my favorite character uh, and that's who I laugh at the most but um, it's really uncommon for me to just laugh almost until I cry with a show like for example Friends or Seinfeld you know those are really great shows but I feel like these scripts are scripted and you, I mean you can tell that the things that they're saying are very cliche and almost just like things that you wouldn't actually sometimes say in real life but when I watch The Office, I'm like, that is something I would say, or that is something I would do. I just, I don't know. I love it. Jim and Pam, best on-screen romance in a TV series, in my opinion. I just, I wish Jim and Pam were married in real life. It's just like, I am obsessed with The Office. We re-watch re it all the time. It is just the greatest, in my opinion. Summer asks, do you prefer dogs or cats? Dogs? Hello, I'm a 100% dog person. I have only met a select few cats that I actually like and that liked me. I'm also severely allergic to cats. I mean, if I'm around a cat or if you if you let a cat live in your house and I come into your house, the cat doesn't even have to be around. I immediately start sneezing. My eyes will puff up and get red. I am so allergic to cats. Uh, I don't have really anything against cats. I don't love cats. If I saw a little cat, you know, on the side of the street starving, I would help, I would give it food. You know, it's not like I'm against them. I'm just for dogs, definitely. <laughs> Someone asked, what is your favorite? Someone asked what my favorite place in the whole entire world is, which is hard to say because I have not really traveled that much, uh, really just in the United States. But, but as a whole, if I could pick one place that was my favorite that I've traveled to in the U.S. is definitely New Orleans. I went there last year for the first time and not only is the food amazing, like everyone says, I just love the entire vibe of New Orleans. I love how they have preserved the culture there uh, and everything is so historic and just so old. And you can just almost like feel the history like running through New Orleans and I just really enjoyed the place as a whole and Will and I are planning on going back hopefully in November. We really don't need to because we need to be saving for the wedding but I don't know it's just one place that he's never been to and that he's been wanting to go to ever since I got back from New Orleans I was like we have to go again so I would definitely go with New Orleans someone said this Kentucky girl wants to know what is your favorite city in Kentucky I feel like maybe she thinks that I'm from Kentucky I don't know maybe I could be misunderstanding but uh, the only time I've ever really been to Kentucky is like traveling through I've never went to Kentucky just to visit uh, 
so I'm, I don't know. I feel like maybe if you're watching, I'm sorry if you thought I was from Kentucky. I'm from Tennessee, and I've never really like went to Kentucky just to visit, so I, I don't know. I can't really answer that one. <laughs> Lakin asks, which Bare Minerals product could you still not live without? I know you use other brands now, but what will you always go back to for Bare Minerals? And that is so easy. That is Brightening Primer and Original Foundation. I mean, those are two staples from Bare Minerals that I continuously use and I repurchase and they're just, they have always been my favorites. Yasmin said, if you could spend a day with anyone in the world, dead or alive, celebrity or not, who would it be? Hello from Ireland. I think she meant hello from Ireland. I don't know what that word is, but I see you, I see you. That's a really good question. Uh, that's really easy. I would definitely pick my grandparents. Um, my mother's father passed away when I was in middle school and my dad's mother passed away when I was, I believe, still in elementary school. Uh, so really easy pick for me. Uh, I was really young when they passed away and uh, my grandfather was just so sweet and really quiet and soft-spoken and um, I just loved him to death and my Mimi, she was sassy and funny and I would definitely, definitely pick them. Makeup by Kate said, what is your opinion on the whole Instagram heavily contoured, heavy brows, full face of makeup? Uh, so like maybe Instagram makeup, I think is what she might be referring to. I am totally fine with that. If that's how you like to do your makeup, then do your makeup that way. I don't think, you know, if you like to do drag makeup, do your makeup that way. I don't think makeup defines people as a person. I don't think you should judge someone walking down the street just because they've got on hot pink eyeshadow and purple lipstick. You know, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. It's not really affecting you. It's not really affecting me. So I'm pretty chill when it comes to how people want to do their makeup. Molly said, are you doing any kind of special fitness or health routine in anticipation for your wedding? Uh, yes, I have been doing a few different things uh, with my workout routine. Generally, I will just go to the gym about three times a week. That is, that is good for me normally. I mean, that is like how I used to do it. Now I am taking, uh, on Monday nights, I'm taking a HIIT class, which is high intense interval training, I believe, uh, with one of my bridesmaids, Brooke. And uh, we go every night, or not every night, we go every Monday night to that. So uh, I've been adding a class to my routine, and I've also been trying to go three to four times a week along with that class. We're actually going to another class Wednesday afternoon to see how we like that. So I may go ahead and add that into my routine as well, but I've just really been liking the classes. I think they're fun, and I push myself more in there because I have someone up there that literally will yell at me if I stop. So I really have been enjoying taking classes because I know that there's obviously a professional teaching them and I know that it's gonna help me get into better shape and I know that I'm gonna push myself more. Someone said, will you actually do a wedding video on the day of your wedding? a few days after the ceremony and reception so everyone can see it and also a honeymoon video as well uh i i don't know if i will vlog that day it kind of just depends on what the vibe is i may have my bridesmaids do some you know back screen footage but i do plan on having a videographer and i will post that video on my channel uh you know once everything's all said and done and that way you guys can see everything in more of like a professional view uh so i will post you know the video that i received back from the videographer and as far as like vlogging on honeymoon you know i don't really do a lot of vlogs um and i feel like I don't want to have the burden of filming everything. You know, I think it's great to film some things, but I don't want to, you know, feel like I have to film every single detail and every single thing that we do. Um, so, not really sure about a honeymoon video, but I definitely will post the videographer's video. 
Candace said, do you think you and Will will ever leave Tennessee or will you guys be here to stay? Uh, for a while now, we will still be in Tennessee. Uh, will just started his uh, first job as an ER nurse, which was like his dream job. Uh, so we're, he's definitely going to be at that hospital for a while now. And we just really like the city that we're in because it's in between Knoxville and Nashville. Uh, it's really a short drive to our family's homes. And it's just a really growing area. It's projected in like the next five years to grow so much. So we really like this area and I do think we'll be here for, for a while. Someone also said, what is Will's job? He is a registered nurse. He graduated uh, last May and he uh, passed his NCLEX and he is now working as a full-time uh, ER nurse. Okay, this is the last question I think I'll have time to take from the Instagram and then I'll move to Snapchat, but Madison asked, what nail polish color are you wearing in your photos from the day you got engaged and what are your top five nail colors? Your nails always look so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, the nail polish I wore on the day I got engaged I think was Essie's Ladylike, I believe. If you guys remember 100% correct me because I know I talked about it in a video shortly after. Um, it's in my closet right now uh, in some storage, but I believe it was Essie Ladylike. I will list it down below though just to, uh, you know, clarify or post it right here just so I'm not saying the wrong thing. But I feel like that was it. And as far as my top five nail colors go... Uh, I do get gel polish for the most part, and I'm wearing my favorite color of all time. This is what I get literally 80% of the time. My nail guy just has my polish waiting when I get there, and he's shocked if I say I want something different. But this is OPI's Don't Bossa Nova Me Around. It is the best nude cream color, completely opaque, covers the nail. You don't see your, you know, nail tip coming through. It's just so pretty and more than likely will be the color that I wear on my wedding day. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other colors that I get uh, when I don't get Don't Boss and Open Me Around. But seriously, that's all I can think of right now because this is what I get, like I said, pretty much every single time. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to head to Snapchat and go through all the snaps you guys sent me. I was dying to open these yesterday, but uh, I was like, I've got to wait and save them for the video. So this first one looks like it's from Gina. I don't know if it's going to be a video or a picture. Let's see. What kind of wedding band do you think you want? That's a good question. Um, so my ring is uh, rose gold and it has small diamonds around the band halfway. And I think probably what I want is uh, just a like 100% rose gold band with diamonds around it all the way. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't totally figured out what I wanted yet, but maybe something like that. What's your all-time favorite eyeshadow palette? And this is from Rye. I would definitely have to say Stila in the Lights. That is like one of my all-time go-tos, and I'm sad it's discontinued, but I love that palette. So this is another question from Riley. Hey, Shelby, if you could only wear one outfit for the rest of your life, which would it be? I'm assuming it's from Madewell, but I still want to know. Thank you. Aww. Okay, so that was from Riley, and like I said, I love reading your snaps. Um, so she said, what is your favorite, if you could only wear one outfit for your entire life, what would it be? And she said, I'm assuming it's from Madewell. Um, well, yeah, I love Madewell denim, and if I could just pick an outfit in general, it would be boyfriend jeans and a tee. I mean, that is literally me almost every single day. Today, I'm wearing boyfriend jeans with kind of more of a dressy top. This is from Gap, by the way. I will have it linked down below. Um, but definitely just boyfriend jeans, a tee, probably some like slip-ons, and that's it for me. That's what I would go with regardless of if it's from Madewell or not. As long as it fits well, hey, I'm okay with it really doesn't matter what the brand is. If it looks good and it feels good, I'll go with it. This question is from Tara and <laughs> she says, will you and Will be having more fur babies? Uh, probably so when Ollie gets a little bit older. We really just love 
time with Ollie. We just, I mean, he is just our baby. And it's not the fact that, you know, if we get another dog, it will ruin that. It's just that it's going to be a lot more work. And, you know, I feel like you're going to have to give more attention to, you know, each dog. And Ollie is just so used to getting attention from us that I don't want to hurt his feelings. He's such a sweet puppy. And I don't know. I just tell Will all the time. I'm like, do you think we could ever love a dog more than we do Ollie? It's just like, it's hard to think. But uh, I think that eventually we will because I want Ollie to have some another dog to play with. And because he just loves to play and obviously we can't play with him 24 hours out of the day. So he will have a little playmate, uh, you know, down the, down the road. Definitely not too soon though. This question is from Sarah. Uh, do you have a certain workout routine or routine to get in shape for your wedding? So this is what I kind of answered previously. Right now I'm taking one to two fitness classes a week. Uh, and I try to work out three to four times throughout the week. I try to give myself one to two days break. Uh, and sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's less than that. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling throughout the week. And I know that sounds super lazy, but I'm not the type of person that is literally going to stress about not being able to make it to the gym and then just beat myself up. Uh, most of the time I can keep to my schedule, but if not, it's not a big deal. So I would say my routine is just pretty laid back. I just do those couple classes a week and then just go and try to do target areas for the other three to four days. I think this uh, question is from Janae. I think that might be the name. Happy birthday to July from Johnny and Lily. Aww, she said happy 4th of July from Johnny and Lily, I believe so. Aww, that was so cute. Hey Shelby, my question for you is, if you didn't have a YouTube channel, how much of your collection would you still have today and which items would you have? Okay, so this was a question from Stephanie and she said, if I did not have uh, my YouTube channel, how much of my collection would I still have? Uh, I would say at least 80% of it, uh, and I feel like that may be a question in reference to uh, me purchasing makeup for just the purpose of reviewing or me also receiving PR as a beauty blogger. So in reference to PR, I actually only started receiving PR a couple years ago. I've been on YouTube for four years. And it may have been less than that when I started receiving, you know, like major brand PR. I'm talking like, you know, Makeup Forever and uh, Hourglass and brands like that. I just started receiving within like past year and a half, two years. So it's not like everything that is in my collection is PR. I would say at least 80 to 85% of what is in my collection now, I have purchased myself. And in reference to me just buying products for the purpose of doing YouTube, uh, I don't ever really go out and just say like, hey, I'm going to buy that foundation and review it. That's not the style of my channel. Uh, you guys, you know, rarely see foundation reviews on my channel. If I do a foundation review, it's because I've tried it and I love it and I want to share it with you guys. Um, the person I can think of off the top of my head that does great reviews like that is It's Judy Time. She, uh, you know, she goes out or she sent products regardless and she goes out and gets them and reviews them for the purpose of reviewing them. Uh, and that's like not how I base my channel. So um, I don't necessarily just go out and buy stuff just to review for you guys. If I'm buying it, it's because I want to try it. And if it works for me, I'll let you guys know about it. But I would say, you know, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I definitely wouldn't have as much of the stuff that I have now because I probably would not be as heavily uh, into, you know, all the new products that are out there. I wouldn't be watching as many people and, you know, seeing all these new products that are coming out, but I would still say I would have a pretty, pretty hefty collection. <laughs> all right, guys, so I think that is all the questions that I'm going to have time for. I hope I was able to answer your question. If not, 
Keep leaving them for future Q&As and I will definitely get around to answering your question for you. I'm going to try to go back on my Instagram and if I wasn't able to answer your question on there, I'll just go ahead and comment to you. Uh, but if you have any questions for me or anything you want to leave for future Q&As, feel free to leave that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!